Oh, hey there, Daniel. You up for some snacking, old boy? No, Stu, you know I'm not. You should be. It might be like a taste sensation. You never know with these overseas foodstuffs. Stu, it's never been nice. It's not going to be nice now. Well, it might be. I, I have honestly not picked these for nastiness. I don't even know what half of them are, genuinely. Mm. But so I'll tell you what, we're about to find out. This is our first official thing since uh, the Comic Con in Manchester, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, it's been, uh, it was great. It was a really good time. It was. What a time we had. <laughs> And now, we're just going to eat stuff so they can laugh at us. Let's get to it. Let's. First things first. I don't know what this is. It looks like sort of beef jerky or something. And it's within date, which is, it makes a nice change. It's horrible. It looks like somebody just squatted out some meat. <laughs> it's a meat squat. Yeah. This is Bi Cheng Hyang. Or maybe that's the people who made it or something. I genuinely have no idea whatsoever. Mm. Um, well, it looks a bit like yeah, beef jerky stuff to me. It looks a bit burnt, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm quite interested in this. I would imagine it's quite highly peppered or spiced. Cool. Time for the scissors. Time for the scissors. Snippity, snippity. And these things are often hard to get into. Let's be a bit overzealous. I'm still trying to get into it. Oh, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Is it really? It smells. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like, well, spiced cooked meat, funnily enough. There we are. Here's right. my half, here's your half. What do you think of the smell? Oh, yeah. I have no idea what this is. I'm guessing it's some sort of meat. But... Oh, well, we'll wait to find out. Okay. Three, bon. two, and one. Bon appetit. Mmm. 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 I don't really like that. I've got no idea what it is. I'm guessing some sort of spiced cooked meat, as I said, but... Uh... Yeah, it's really nice actually. That's like a, um, like a what's it called? Pepper? Like it'd be the equivalent of a like pepperami or something. Yeah, it tastes less artificial. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's quite nice. Genuinely impressed with that. I actually going to eat this all. I have as well. Very spicy as well. Wow. Mm. Told you some of it might be nice. I'm Would honestly, you I'm... listen? No, we knew it all. <laughs> oh, I'm generally shocked. I really thought that was gonna. It doesn't like appetizing. It doesn't look that great. I don't know. I, I quite like jerky and jerky style products, so that's quite good for me. Oh, that was a nice start. Yeah, definitely. Oh, well. Better have a mobile meal to uh, round it off. Mm. Th this is very, very, very overly uh, bright packaging, really, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think that's one thing that kind of puts me off the food, because I think, well, the, your packaging looks really artificial, therefore your food's going to be really artificial. You could be right. This is a retort pouch. <laughs> I'm not totally sure what that means. This is... Zongzi in Hong Kong style. Now, Zongzi is like um, meat and stuff with rice around it, isn't it? I don't know. I, I'm I think really oh, I'm doing that off the top of my head. I'm not sure. But this is a good source of protein and a good source of fibre. No, it's not. It says it is. <laughs> it couldn't possibly lie. Not used with microwave. No need to refrigerate. Yep, eat it cold, I think is the idea here. Hence mobile meal. Okay. You can eat it in a car. You can eat it on a giant swallow. You can eat it while holding a stick and being a hunchback. Nice. And you can eat it as a ship is about to crash into you. <laughs> right, tear off the top of the bag, squeeze the bottom, ready to eat. Nice. Oh, helps if I actually showed people that. He looks really pleased with it, look. Ah. Hmm, well, I'm interested in this. Where did you get it from? Again, just sent Again, in. Again, yeah, just sent in. All this stuff was, actually. Mm. Uh, Same person? I have no idea. I wouldn't have thought so. I don't think they came together. Oh, man. Just rip the top off with your inhuman strength. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh it's no, going no, everywhere. No, no, no. Oh, man, this isn't mobile at all. Jesus. Oh, it's got beans in it. Right. <laughs> well, it smells of... Uh, uh, it smells really nice. It smells of sort of spiciness. I'm going to have some of the rice. Uh, oh, God, yeah, it does smell really mm. nice. It tastes quite nice as well. What's going on? People are sending me nice food. Yeah, it's all right. And again, uh, it's... um. It's definitely not disgusting. No. It's definitely no beans. <laughs> it's not, uh, yeah, definitely no jelly beans. Um, it's it not doesn't... something I would, I want a lump of something out of it. There we are. Oh, That'll do. Uh, it's a bit jellified, this bit. This is not looking <laughs> so good. Yeah. yeah, I knew you'd enjoy that bit. <laughs> um, oh, that's a bit sort of dusty. <laughs> dusty? Yeah, it's just kind of dusty. That was a bit unpleasant, actually. Mm. I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't look the most appetizing thing. No. And they always say the first bite is with the eye. Mm. Mm. A biting eye. Great name for a band. It um, what do you think? Oh, just the rice on its own is all right. The, when you get the other bits in it, it's a bit sort of. 
Yeah, it has that sort of nasty, artificial, dusty, nothingy twang to it. Would you say the colours of the uh, packaging suit the... Um... No, they've clearly tried to oversell it. Mm. It's better than starving to death. A lot better, I would imagine. Yeah. But, um, yeah, ooh. Well, it's sort of coat in the mouth and a slightly <laughs> un bad tasting stuff now. The fact that you said it, the jelly bit, made me feel a bit like... Um, yeah. It's just, it's just 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 the, if it was just the rice and sauce, that would be quite nice. Mm. Let's see, other bits in there aren't helping. Yeah. A bit of a nut going on there, a bit of a peanut. I'll have that. Mm. <laughs> mm. And that's my fibre for the day. Yeah. Right. Anyway, too much meat. Let's leave the poor animals alone with... <clears throat> Vegetarian meat, mm. hot and spicy. So basically, this is uh, to tofu. Oh, of course, I move the plate or. Happiness starts here. <laughs> now, let's grab a couple of these out of the packets. Uh, I feel like. Um... Ooh, look at that. Oh, they're in little packets. Yeah, so you can have your vegetarian meat on the move. Vegetarian meat is a bit a sort of redundant concept, really, isn't it? The whole point is you don't have meat. So yeah. it's basically spicy tofu. Wouldn't that be a better way to sort of do you feel it again? do you feel like that with all meats where it's based like you know you have tofu or like was it corn corn yeah well yeah like just just say what it is don't pretend it's something it isn't mm. that doesn't help anybody they should make their own species of animals up so yeah. instead of like uh, you know <laughs> so like it based on chicken or cows they like have anything like pterodactyls and stuff yep you know? <laughs> spicy monkey. Uh, wings, monkey wings. <laughs> yeah, there That's you go. it. Yeah, <clears throat> spicy monkey wings. We should uh, definitely patent that. Right. Oh my God. Whatever it is is very. Oh, it's very oily. Yeah, very oily. My God, look at that. Blimey, little lumps of uh, tofu stuff. What does it smell of? It smells of spiciness. No, it just smells very. Oh, blimey. It looks like a squashed chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You're not enjoying this. I'm not worried about this at all, actually. I'm, I'm going to have a little bit right now. Mm. Jesus. What's it taste like? It tastes of... Well, the texture is exactly like meat. It's very spicy. <laughs> um, but other than the spiciness, there's no flavour to it. There's no flavour to the actual tofu stuff at all. I'll try a little bit. Mm. Oh, it's dry? Yeah. It's, that it's look oily, but dry. Yeah, the texture is, is very meaty. Oh dear, you didn't enjoy that one. I didn't <laughs> mind that at all. <coughs> no, I didn't like it. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just sort of spicy. It, it just basically tastes of spicy oil and nothing else beyond it. Uh, it didn't taste like um, didn't taste like anything I've tasted before. Oh. It was an alien taste for you. Yeah, I didn't uh, kind of like that. Didn't no, like I don't think I've had anything that tasted exactly like that, but I didn't mind it. I wouldn't want to eat a large amount of it. Yeah, but you've got like um, a, a stomach made of iron. Of many irons. I think you've desensitised yourself to all these other things. <laughs> Through having 41-year-old <laughs> ale. Yeah, you're like, you're like a champion of these things. Yeah. I can't do it. Well, we better go back to meal meat after, real meat after that. Mm. Well, meal meat as well. Our old mm. friend Chef Advance and his giant hitchhiking thumb... Isn't there a Numa Thurman film about that? She had a giant thumb. She's, I think so. Only cowgirls get the blues, I believe it's called. It's pork floss! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, it is! <laughs> I like your utterly blank expressions of that. <laughs> well, I was just what? confused. Like yeah. pork floss. Yep, yeah, this has been made with 240 grams of pork over 100 grams of finished product. It's like a sort of weird form of jerky, I suppose. Whoa, 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 Right. Yeah, there's a fighting moves. Pork floss. Pork floss. A great name for a man. Right. Oh, I can't open it. Got a pair of scissors? Oh, here we are. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it looks like asbestos or something. Um, or fiberglass. Yeah, fiberglass. Definitely fiberglass. And it smells of... It doesn't, really sm it doesn't smell unpleasant at all. It doesn't really smell of anything. What would you say that smells of? It smells like shit. It does not smell <laughs> like shit. No, it's... um. It's not pleasant, mm. but it's not it's bad. Sort of I wouldn't nasty. like to smell it a lot. Well, I'm going to have this bit of pork. Oh, no, I'm not. It's just, oh, blimey. It's very well, probably you're gonna floss fragile. Teeth, yeah, I shall floss my teeth with this bit. Oh. Mm. Bit Dissolves in the mouth and tastes like tastes like pork. It's quite, it's quite nice, actually. I don't mind that. 
I, mu I much prefer this to the fish floss I tried before. I don't like any of this stuff. This is awful. <laughs> hey, you like the first one? I like the first one. First yeah. one's all right, but that I don't know. Again, it's not like this is. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I offensive. honestly don't. I could. I, no, I could happily eat this as part of a meal. Really? Actually, yeah. Put it on top of something, maybe some soup or uh, a hat. I think of scorpions. One of the things that puts puts me off this is the actual packaging because it looks so again it's that thin, pathetic artificial thing. Where it's what like, well... could what could anybody dislike about Chef Advance, <laughs> apart from his entire physiology? Hmm. Mm. No, I like that. And this is a family treat or great as a gift to give to friends and relatives. You can't argue with facts like that, Dan. Mm. It's set on the very packet. Yeah, I might actually eat some more of that later. <laughs> I like that. I'll sell it up. Yeah, but I'm gonna put that one away in my cupboard. One side. Ah, time for some dessert now, I reckon. Oh, How about some dried fruit whore snack? Some dried fruit whore. H-A-W whore. I can't remember what that means. I know that word, and I've now, now I need to know what it means. My brain has gone blank on me. <laughs> so I'm being childish. Dried fruit whore, 66% sugar, cornstarch, lemon juice, spices. Is it, is it like apple cores and apple peel and stuff? Put together? I don't know. It's only 60p for the whole lot. And um, not that you can tell, because I'm actually holding the price upside down. So it looks like it's... Cost D09. <clears throat> That's better. Right, <clears throat> let's get this thing open. Very slowly. Oh man. It's quite ceremonially packaged, this one. Right. Is this, again, just like a snack or like a, yep. a dessert? Yeah, it'd be a snack sort of thing. I think it actually says snack on it. Oh, cool. There we are. Have your own fruit hole. I'm going to have this one. I'm quite interested in this. Yes. Can't get the package open. Other than that, just turn it. Man, there's more, there's more package opening than bloody eating things in this day. Here we go. Oh, it's quite sticky. Oh, it's rolled up. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a fruit roll up. I mean, the same. And much oh, cheaper. Oh, I don't like the smell of it. Oh, no, the smell's not good at all. Oh, God. Oh, what is that? That's like. Is it citric? Like... Yeah, sort of citric, but also like, like some sort of wood or something. Like a load of apple cores. Yeah, well, it's probably literally what it is. Oh, well. I wonder what it tastes like. Uh... Oh, it's nice. I like it. Yeah, it's very sweet. Mm. Very sweet. Tastes well of apple cores, pretty much, but yeah. but not unpleasant at all. Quite like it. Mm. This is great. I've actually got food I can eat for once. <laughs> well, I can't eat this stuff. <laughs> it's hot. It is all right. Again, I don't. Um, I don't trust any of this stuff, Stuart. I really don't trust any of it. <laughs> Just go with the flow, man. Oh. It's no problem. Oh, man, that's great. I'm going to have the rest of them later. Mm. Well, how about something that isn't from the land of China? Oh. Well, some of these may not have been from China. I didn't check, to be brutally honest with you. Mm. Yogo waffle. Where is this from? Um, I would guess Poland or somewhere, judging by the uh, old smackle jagadowan there. Waffle jagadkoti nads... <laughs> I cannot pronounce that. I apologise. So basically, I think this is some sort of uh, chocolatey thing with grape inside. Oh, wow. Purple grape. Sounds nice. Yogo waffle. Is it supposed to be yoghurt from the yoghurt, do you think? And waffle, obviously waffle. I'd assume so, yeah. Mm. Well, let's find out. Oh yeah, it is Polish, look at that. It says Polska from the back. Polska. Right, I hope this is within date. This is 1981. Uh, oh great. no, 17th the 7th, 14th. Oh, it is out of date. Bugger. Well, I saw 1981, I thought that was a year for yeah. a second. Or so that would be slightly <laughs> wrong. Do you want to try this? It is a month out of date. It's probably fine for a confectionery product. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's literally a waffle and it's been crushed into post. Hang on. You are right with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, here we go. I'm quite intrigued by this. Come out, Yogo Waffle. Join us. Ooh. Ooh. Do you want to try a bit? Try a tiny bit. Yeah, here we go. Well, presumably it has the sort of grapey stuff inside. Yeah, here we go. If you can see that at home, there's a little bit of... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 it's no all, I don't know, man. It's all like mush. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was expecting it to be nice and purple. Like that. Oh, it smells very grapey. Well, I'm going to try a little bite of this one. Hmm. Oh. That doesn't taste quite right. I, don't I think, think it's gone that, off. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that shouldn't taste how it does. I don't, mm. I think, um... Maybe it should be purple, and I've just eaten a load of rot. <laughs> That's one of the things I was thinking, like, um... Because it's purple in the packaging, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe that, that's just, uh... I don't know, but that looks like chocolate, though, as well. 
Yeah, yeah, I think that could just be a very <clears throat> misleading package. Maybe. Yeah, that's not. it wasn't massively unpleasant, but it tasted slightly... slightly off. I wonder if it is slightly off or not. I can't really tell. I would have to have a fresh one and then eat them both at the same time. I've got to be honest with you, Stu, I feel paranoid eating any of this stuff because of what's happened last time. <laughs> so basically, everything to me, this whole this whole thing's a death trap. Well, <laughs> you're not dead yet. No. I emphasise the word, yet. Oh, okay. uh, well, better have something to uh, wash it all down with. <clears throat> oh, what you got? Well, I didn't show you this earlier. In fact, I didn't really show you any of this earlier, <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> if you know oh, that for yeah, us, I thank you. Go. I have here... Some lovely, from Wonder Farm, Nyok Yen Nagani, the Tik Tok. I have no idea what country or anything this is from. Can we find out? Taste of nature. Uh, hmm, what if we could guess as to where it's from? Vietnam, by the looks of it. Oh, wow. A Vietnamese drink. Marvellous. Is this in date? It is. And it is Bird's Nest White Fungus Drink. Uh. <laughs> I was so looking forward to seeing your face, and it did not disappoint. It's from Wonder Farm. <laughs> White fungus drink in bird's nest. Right. I have absolutely no idea. Is that literal? I wouldn't have thought so. I, I, I don't... Uh. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to look like. A load of birds fly out of it. Yeah. There's quite a lot of white fungus in what it. What is that? That is white fungus, I would So presume. it is... <clears throat> Yeah, that's that's it's great. That's wonderful. That, that's like something looks like something dredged out of a septic tank. Doesn't yeah, it? it does. We don't deal very well with stuff floating in our drinks in this country, do we? No. It smells of nothing except vague sweetness. Yeah, there's a vague sweetness to it, but not. Mm. It's kind of like um, it's no like after smell or anything like that. It's very subtle, a very yeah. subtle smell. Do you, um, should we do scissors paper stone to see who takes the first sip? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be for fun. Let's. Ready? <clears throat> How many? Uh, on the count of three, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> ah, okay. I always win that game, except when I frequently don't. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? Bombs up. <coughs> you didn't enjoy it, did you? <coughs> Fucking... It's just the... Ugh. No. Well, <coughs> I, uh, I kind of wish I'd gone first now, actually, oh, after seeing that reaction. Sorry. It's, it's uh. the, it wasn't so much the flavour, it's the idea, I was not expecting something to actually touch my mouth, like oh. um, the... You got some of the fungus, did fungus, you? Fungus, right, and then I'm... Oh, it's disgusting. Oh. Oh, God. <coughs> oh, it tastes sort of sweet and off. Oh, I suppose it would, it's like <laughs> fungus. No, oh, it's like, it's like the taste of your mouth after you've been sick. <laughs> It's absolutely horrible. Oh man. Oh, I'm not enjoying that. Oh, hang on. I want to have some more fruit horse snacks. I think my help me apple taste. Oh, from one terrible taste to another. Mm. Oh no, I like that. Mm. Well, I would say by far the best was the first thing. Jesus, look at this. <laughs> look at this mess we've made. Absolutely ridiculous. Look at it. Oh, I feel guilty now. There's guilty. people starving in the world who still wouldn't have wanted to have eaten that because it's too rich for them. Mm. But yeah. Mm. Um, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one was good. Yeah, the first one I think was quite and nice. And I really like the apple thing. I mean, I'm going to scoff a couple of them, mm. in fact. I could, again, it's not like it was that bad. It's just mm. that I wouldn't, I didn't really... Um... What was the worst from your point of view? Yeah, probably that drink. And, yeah, uh, the waffle. drink definitely. The waffle was pretty bad. No. Uh, that, I re I don't know what, uh, the tofu, yeah. that kind of like, it's the fact that it looked like, it was just something deceiving on all levels. It looked greasy, it was dry, mm. um, it didn't yeah, it was taste. Just sort of, it was just covered, I think it's just sort of vaguely dry tofu with a lot of oil, spicy oil on it. Yeah. But it did not taste of anything other than the spicy oil. No, it's an interesting, I'm interesting though, because I'd never tasted anything quite like it, so at least it was a new experience. Yeah, if you want to deceive your senses, then... Go out and try it, but other than that, don't bother. Yeah. Oh, well, I think snacking-wise we'll have to stick to our local snacks of dried human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, nothing disgusting about that? No, no nothing. I yeah, think... Um, a fully natural, uh, popular Norfolk snack. What about in Bristol? What's your popular snack down there? Uh, cider. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, I'm moving. That's, uh, that's the breakfast, uh, lunch and dinner. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong with that? Right, I'm off to eat some more fruit snacks. Bye. See you later.